It's about time to put the ball and glove away for the season because the boys of fall are here and this is their playground. Number one, Dubois at number three, KC. First quarter, KC wearing the blue, going for it on fourth and goal from the four. James Carroll is looking for somebody, but Jesse Hawk's going to swoop in and snare his prey. That ride did not quite last eight seconds. The Rams would get to work. They're not well known for their passing, but it worked on this play. Sterling Baker has something cooking in the oven. Number 20 was not listed in the program, but Dubois knows who he is. A 39-yard pickup to the enemy nine-yard line, and the visitors were knocking on the door. About two plays later, Hawk will keep it on the ground and muscle his way into the end zone from about five yards out. Conversion no good, but he has his team on the board, leading six to nothing. One thing that KC had going for them in terms of defense is that they lead the six-man division in interceptions. Case in point, Rowan Hawk sees one person downfield, but he did not see Tucker Armstrong, and the sophomore snags that ball away before any more damage could be done. And thankfully, his boys in blue are only down six zip after the first ten minutes. Second quarter, the Rams would get to doing what they do best, running. They're number one in that category. Baker's tops individually, averaging more than 200 yards per game, and there's 35 of them. He also leads the state in rushing touchdowns. This play would double his team's point total, and it's now 12 to nothing. Now this play is something you don't see often, as both teams did something. Baker's pass is going to get picked off by Peter John Bennett, but then on the return, he's going to get speared by Jesse Hawk, causing a fumble in the process, and the visitors ended up recovering and gained yardage on the play when it was all said and done. On the next play, Dubois should cash in. Baker's going to put on a few moves and show why he's hard to bring down. It's because he's not always going to be in the spot that you think he's going to be in. He'll zigzag his way through the defense en route to a 26-yard score, add on a two-point kick, and the scoreboard now reads 20 to zip. Now, usually the team that commits the most turnovers ends up losing, but so far that has not been the case. The visitors kept trying to work on the passing game, but the boys in blue were ready for it. Garrett Kramers will grab an INT for his team and hang on to the ball. He'll take a pretty good licking at the end of the play, but he was all right, and his team was in business. It took a few tries, but KC finally hit pay dirt. Caro knows what he wants, and that is Marcus Coe. He's got two defenders beat. He'll haul in the pass and score from 30 yards away. That was some much-needed relief as the Buckaroos were only down 20-7 to going into halftime. Third quarter, Dubois on the attack again, but the home team defense would respond. Baker's thrown the other way, but the intended receiver was covered by Bennett, who will get a second pick of the game. Not much on the return, but at least the scoring threat has been stopped for the time being. So far, the Buckaroo passing game has been doing a pretty good job, but the Rams defense showed up this time. Great leap and grab by our mysterious number 20 here in that one. However, his team could not do anything with the turnover and would eventually have to give it back. KC kept trying to hang around, and they figured eventually something would work. Carroll was looking at two receivers on the far side, but then he found Philip Renkert, and by the time Dubois shifted over to cover him, it was too late, and the freshman is into the end zone on a 13-yard scoring play. The Buckaroos would kick for two, and we got a game going on with the score at 20-15. to But then the Rams started to live up to their name. There goes Baker. Watch the stiff arm on the far side. That's one less defender to worry about. 42 yards to the house, and that's how you get it done. The visitors would open up some breathing room and increase their lead to 26-15 going into the final 10 minutes. Fourth quarter, they wanted more, and they got it. We haven't seen Jesse Hawk in a while. He's just going to drag several tacklers with him for eight yards. He'll reach the ball across the goal line, and that's all he needed to do. Conversion no good again, but now the score is 32-15. to Later, the ride was getting bumpy for the Buckaroos, and that's what Dubois wanted. Baker checks in again from one yard out to put last year's state runner-ups ahead 38-15. to KC was staying in the saddle, but they needed some points in a hurry. Here comes Renkert on an end-around play, and he'll find some room on the near side to get in from 19 yards out. That's what his team needed, plus two. So now it's 38-23, to but they were running out of time. The home team did recover the onside kick, but could not convert. The visitors would then run down to the other end, and Baker would apply the finishing touches with this two-yard run with seconds to go. The Rams win on the road in a battle of undefeated teams, 46-23.